one and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the different people of Earth and beyond, friends, family, allies, and animals, to the mysterious world under our feet of Beth the Bunny and her fabulous friends. Welcome to the transmissions of Rabbit Ears. Welcome back to Rabbit Ears. As always, I am your host, Beth the Bunny. And with me, as always, are Mr. Blaze and Magic. I'm Mr. Blaze. In case you didn't know. I'm Beth the Bunny. I am a cab driver. I'm a bunny. Yes, you are a bunny. And this is human embodiment of magic. And sunshine. And sunshine. Thank you, Beth. That's still true. Um... What are we going to talk about today? Do you have any ideas? Uh, well, today I think we should spin the wheel of topics on Magic TV. Do it. Hit the wheel of topics. All right. Rodents, donkeys, hat stores, hat bricks. Store. Bricks? No, stops on art. 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 We're gonna talk about art. Okay, so as far as art goes, what's your favorite kind of art, Beth? I like splatter paint art. Splatter paint? That's so messy. That's why I like it. Messy. What's what? your what's your star sign? Aquarius. You're an Aquarius? I am an Aquarius. That's like a very creative sign. So I, I, I can see why you'd be interested in the splatter. I personally am a Virgo. I'm interested in everything being a little bit more orderly. My favorite kind of art is where you take two different ideas that you wouldn't normally think would go together and then you combine them and it, it's something that you would never think of before. So it's like kind of magic. So Whoa. your favorite kind of art is magic? Yeah. Whoa. Excellent. Let's hit it with the inanimated objects, guys. Hi there, how are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Liam. Hey Liam, my name is Blaine. Nice to meet you. You too. Where are you going today? You're off for a walk down the street? Where are you going? Um, yeah, I just walked down the street. Hey, did you see those really cool like statues or that artwork or whatever is just down the street that we walked by? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was kind of cool, huh? What did you think of that? Yeah, like it was um quite cool how someone can do that. Yeah? Yeah, I like looking at art. Do you? What's your favorite kind of art? Um, I like paintings. Yeah. I, really, I like those too, but you know, I also have different kind of art, but that's uh, the kind of art I really like. Oh, like music arts? Yeah, exactly. Music arts and movies and, you know, even even reading, even like literature. I think that's, that's a cool kind of art too. Oh yeah, I think I like that too. Do you create any art? Do you do any art yourself? Um, yeah, I like to, um, I like to try paint and all that once in a while. Yeah? What do you paint? Um, I like landscapes and all, I like stuff like that. Sometimes I try Very to cool. like, do something like, yeah, um, like a living thing, because those are the things that are kind of hard. Wow. But Very cool. I just kind of go step by step, I guess, like something like that. What, uh, what is it you like about art? What is it you like about painting? Um, I just feel like it's, it's just kind of cool, like, um, it's kind of like you can create kind of like your own like imagination kind of in a way. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's like you can take what's inside your head and bring it out and share it with others, share it with the world, right? Yeah. All right, well, hey, it was really nice meeting you and cool talking to you. Yeah, you too. All right, go have fun. Make sure to uh, do lots of cool paintings. <laughs> yeah, okay.
Max and I'm 11. I like drawing and this is my friend Gus. Hello, my name is Gus. I'm 10 and I really like drawing and this is my friend Max. Are you ready, Gus? Are you ready, Max? Yeah! Time starts now. Each participant has been given a secret phrase that they need to draw. The challenge is for the other kid to figure out the phrase just from looking at the picture. They only have two minutes to draw. Hey Max, I like carrots. What? I like carrots. What's a carrot? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is cheesy. My mine is a cheesy picture. It's a very cheesy pickle. Max, you like triangles. How do I draw uh, triangles? Twenty-five seconds left. Twenty-five seconds remaining on the clock. No, oh, I can't draw all of the squares in time. Time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Oh, is it a tiny man in a car? No. It's a car. No, it's not a car, but it, it's in the picture. It's a big car. I guess that's three, so... Um, it was, it was supposed to be a, a, a boy guy with a beak. Probably a car. I just couldn't make the eyeball, because... It's a building in campus. Maybe. Hmm. So it's not a building eating carrots. It kind of is, but the category of carrots. Like, what the eating an orange carrot? Like, what category is carrots in? A building eating a vegetable. We know. Yes, you got it. Decision, Max. Okay, Max, Max and Gus are clearly fundamentally the greatest human beings I've ever met in my entire life. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a song that Magic knows that I didn't, I didn't really know too well, and we're gonna sing it for you. I'm gonna try to sing along, but she, I don't think she wants me to, <laughs> because I sound very ridiculous when I sing along. But are you gonna try to sing? Yes, I am. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, so um, let's do it, guys. <laughs> Oh, tell them what it's called. It's called, you can't eat Chevy Granny off a bus. Off a bus? Yeah. It's a kind of a violent song, hey? Eh? Yeah, it's Scottish. Oh, it's Scottish. That makes, that explains it all. shoving your other granny off the bus because it's your dad's mom. Is that is that okay? Scottish. It's Scottish. Okay. How many more verses? One more? Uh, two. Two more verses. Okay. But we have to sing. You can't shove your granny because it's the chorus. Okay. And go for it. Oh, you can't shove your granny. Oh, you 
Okay, what is a tatty? Tatty is a potato, so it's like mince and like mashed potato. It's a Scottish thing. Yeah, or I might have like neeps, which is tatty. That's my friend, come here. Did you know that the embodiment of all magic as we know it is Scottish? Well, now you know.